The Joe Biden administration has delivered the strongest criticism yet by any US government on Israeli settlements on the West Bank. The State Department under Biden had repeatedly warned against settlement construction. Israel, however, moved ahead with it and earned sharp rebuke from the Biden administration. We are deeply concerned about the Israeli government's plan to advance thousands of settlement units. On Wednesday, as well as tenders published Sunday for more than 1,300 homes, State Department spokesman Ned Price said, We strongly oppose the expansion of settlements, which is completely inconsistent with efforts to lower tensions and to ensure calm, and it damages the prospects for a two-state solution, he told reporters. We also view plans for the retroactive legalization of illegal outposts as unacceptable, he said. Price said that the Biden administration would, quote, raise this issue directly with senior Israeli officials in our private sessions, unquote. About 475,000 Israeli Jews live in settlements in the West Bank, which are considered illegal under international law, on land Palestinians claim as part of their future state. The Trump administration had revised long-standing State Department guidance and said it did not consider settlements illegal. The Obama administration before him declined to exercise the routine U.S. veto at the U.N. Security Council and allowed a resolution against Israeli settlements to pass through. Joe Biden was the vice president in Obama administration and he has had long-standing ties with the Jewish state. Many in his Democratic Party have increasingly opposed Israeli policies. The new Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett is a right-winger and a proponent of the settlement movement. However, his coalition government also includes centrists who seek stable relations with the United States. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.